Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a video called Cards, Tags, and Bags, Oh My. And I am creating several cards, some tags, and a little treat sack using mainly this Catherine Pooler stamp set, which is Build a Snowman. Uh, it's super cute. I love these little snowmen. And I am going to go ahead and take a piece of Bristol Smooth, sorry about that, uh, Bristol Smooth cardstock and blend some ink with my scrapbook.com domed blender tool um, and the first color i'm using is faded jeans and then i also use a salty ocean and so i'm just trying to blend the colors out to right before the tape line um, and just leave a little bit of white space towards the bottom and so i just go back and forth this is like a hyperspeed. Can you imagine if you actually did it this fast, how quickly you would get stuff done? <laughs> um, but I, I go ahead and blend that ink out and remove the tape. And then I go ahead and blend on the bottom. The colors on the bottom are Stormy Sky and Tumbled Glass. And my original idea for this card was I was just gonna have two snowmen. I saw this really cute picture of a a snowman that was like doing a handstand in the snow and so that is what I was going to do originally but when I created the snowman with the stamps I wasn't even thinking about it I did not make his arms long enough um, the stamps are not long enough and I totally could have drawn them I don't know why I didn't but I had already done the snowman and I didn't want to redo it so I just went ahead and made a family of snowmen so it's my family it's me my husband and my two boys um, I do have three boys but my oldest is old no he's not old he just turned 29 so um, he has his own I guess I could have put him in now I feel bad um, so what I did was I stamped out the larger snowman and then the little baby snowman and I went ahead and used um, I want to say I used salty ocean to stamp those out in the distress oxide and then I took a Catherine Pooler ink and this ink is called oh boy um, and I just swatched that on a piece of palette paper and went ahead and used my paintbrush and some water to give the snowman some definition and here I am just trying to build some of the snowmans and getting some of the different elements that go with them uh, stamped out. And the only thing I didn't like about this stamp set is they have two tiny, tiny little eyes and they were so hard to work with. So for the eyes where I just put the, um, the dotted eyes, I just went ahead and put that with a black jelly roll. Um, and the ink that I used for the hands is icing on the cake. I also use Versafine. Um, and here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the uh, facial features for these. And it was really easy to just go ahead and do my own expressions rather than use the stamps. Although the little stamp with kind of the mouth open a little bit was super cute. Um, so I went ahead and used that. Um, but it was really easy to go ahead and put those expressions on. Um, and it was actually easier for me because, um, as you can see in kind of the tall one with the bow tie, the red bow tie, uh, there's not much room for his little carrot nose. And so um, it's kind of smooshed on his face. I didn't leave enough room. Um, and then I take my white jelly roll pen and just add the highlights to the um, eyes. And then I'm taking a blue, this is a glaze pen. I honestly don't really know what it's used for. It remains a little bit tacky um, and it takes a little bit longer to dry. I accidentally ordered these. I thought they were the um, jelly roll and they were actually the glaze pens. And so I've just been using them for little, um, little things, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ink blending blended panel and use the snowflakes from the stamp set. And I went ahead and prepped my surface with my embossing bag and I went ahead then and used the Versamark embossing ink. And I this time I used, it was called Ranger 
photo, uh, what is that called? Oh, poly sparkle embossing powder. Um, and it's really old. I have a lot of really old embossing powders in my stash that I got from yard sales and stuff like that. And so it looks kind of old. I don't know if they sell it, but I will definitely look. Um, and then I took some paint, some white acrylic paint and watered that down a little bit to make some snow. And then I also used my white jelly roll pen to make some more snow on the card. And then here I'm just going to go ahead and assemble all of my snowmen. So this is the guy and he has his little red hat. And all I did with that is just added a black band using my black jelly roll pen. And then here's the little kiddos here. I'm going to add the hat for that one. And um, I use my tape runner a lot. I just, uh, I go through that stuff like crazy. I just prefer to liquid glue most times unless I'm doing something like super detailed and then I'll use liquid glue. Or if I'm worried about getting something set uh, that I don't want to be adhered immediately, um, then I'll use liquid glue. But for the most part, I do prefer to use the uh, tape runners. It's just quicker for me. And I'm always afraid that I'm gonna add too much glue, I think, and it's gonna warp whatever I'm doing, so. So here I just put the little guy snowman and the wife or <laughs> yeah and flat on the card base and then the little kids i went ahead and popped that up with some foam tape i gave each of them a snowball in their hands and added the sentiment white embossed on black cardstock and i believe that will finish up that first card And as I was going through my Christmas cards, I realized I don't have hardly any that are just flat. And so I'm planning on making a video, just doing some flat cards so that I can get them through the mail without having to pay extra postage. Um, for this next card, I go ahead and use the snowflakes again. I am gonna use my Versamark again, and I've already prepped my Bristol Smith cardstock with um, my embossing bag. And these I'm going to go ahead and emboss in white. And I just put the snowflakes around the edge mainly of the card because I wanted to leave the center open for my little snowman that I'm going to put there. And I'm using this Distress Offsite ink tumbled glass. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of my makeup ink blenders and just go around the edges of the card panel, leaving a white space in between. I almost didn't do this video. I don't know. I feel like, you know, I did the Simon Says Stamp and I just love those cards that I made. I was so proud of myself because there's this, you know, sometimes there's stuff that you do and it's just awesome and you like the way it looks. And then there's other times I'm just like, oh gosh, I don't like that. Or, you know, it just doesn't. And you know, I do, I look at other stuff and see, I am not a super clean and simple card maker. Like I like to, like I like the way clean and simple looks and I try and do it sometimes, but I also, I just love the not clean and simple look. Um, and so, I don't know. So this to me is clean and simple. I don't know if it's clean and simple to somebody else. Just because the colors are really light, there's not a lot going on. Um, so I went ahead and I ink blended uh, around the edge of the card. And then I took some gouache. I just recently got gouache because Debbie Hughes uses it. And, you know, she's kind of my idol with her watercoloring. <laughs> So I used the gouache and I actually really liked it because it is thicker than a watercolor um, and probably a little bit thinner than like an acrylic paint. Um, so I did have to water it down still. I just like the way and you know it maybe it's just my technique. I did it differently. I just like the way that I didn't get as many like splashes of white paint on my card as I usually do. Like if you look at some of my cards, there's like a line of paint instead of just like droplets. And so um, I didn't get much of that on this card and uh, I thought it looked really cool. So I did use that for my little snowflakes. Um, and I'm keeping this really mild toned. I took <clears throat> 
lighter toned ink for all the portions except for the face, which I use a jelly roll. And then I took a gray alcohol marker and kind of made some shadows where his arms are and where his nose is. Um, and then I'm taking this Catherine Pooler ink to do the hat. Um, mainly I picked a darker color for this so that you wouldn't be able to see the line of his face from the other um, ink that I used. And the hat is done in Daydream, as is the sentiment. Um, so the sentiment I used was this Trinity Stamps sim stamp sentiment. And it is called Merry Christmas Sinti Mini. I really like the scripty font on that. And so I went ahead and just uh, put the typed font or the printed font, I guess, handwritten, I don't know. Uh, Mary on the outside and then I did the more scripty font on the inside of the card um, and then I went ahead and took a frame I be believe they're the stitch diagonal frames from Pink Fresh Studios and doubled those up to create this thin frame out of some silver cardstock and then luckily I found this really thin it's got to be probably a quarter inch double-sided adhesive which is by scrapbook.com and um, it fit perfectly for that frame um, so I really like this card I think it's subtle and just kind of cute and it's flat so it's really easy for me to send through the mail and it's not gonna be bulky or anything like that so that completes the card portion and here I'm gonna make two tags and then one treat sack uh, using these snowmen and here the, I got this tag from my stash it's not real thick but you can use whatever you have if you have a tag maker if you want to hand cut it um, you know it's really up to you what you want to do there's a lot of possibilities with tags they don't they can be square they can be circle they could be you know whatever you want really it doesn't matter um, so I went ahead and white embossed the snowman on my tag and here I am taking this uh, cosmic shimmer it's called flake and glitter glue and what I'm going to do is take the hat and the heart and put the glue on my stamp and then go ahead and stamp that up on my image and so I don't believe that I've done this before. I've seen somebody from Creative Expressions uh, demonstrate this, and so I wanted to try it. Um, so I stamped the heart up, and then I was worried that it, it didn't cover entirely. So then I went ahead and just took my an old paintbrush and kind of spread that glue out. The stamp was really super easy to clean off the glue and um, the glitter went on awesome i love this glitter uh, I, let me see what color this is this is cherry red um, it's kind of like a micro fine glitter it's really fine and it's just some beautiful beautiful glitter i absolutely love it and they're small and they fit in one of those little um, plastic kind of photo storage containers which is where i've been keeping my glitter because if it happens to you know explode or something or the top comes off it's just going to be contained in that little container um, but after i do the hat i went ahead and add a washi strip on the bottom and then i took my white gel pen and created some dots um, and then afterwards i went ahead and added some nouveau white drops to the card as well as i changed out the ribbon um, that's going through the hole of the tag um, so for this one, this is a bigger size tag, again, from my stash. And my original idea with this was to make the snowman kind of lined up one on top of each other. And then I left a little bit of space right there on the right side because I was going to fussy cut that out. So it was kind of like a shaped edge. <laughs> and then once I got all of those lined up, I was like, hmm... I think I want to make this kind of more of a mixed media looking tag. And so what I ended up doing was I alternated the small snowman and the big snowman back and forth on the tag and just made, I don't know, I've been in my mind, I'm referring to them as baubles, but you know, they're basically just circles. Um, and I kind of like the way that looks. I'm going to go ahead and use my creative expressions luster polish and a dauber and the great thing about these polishes are they have is that they have the applicator already in the lid so you don't need a separate storage area for your sponge applicators um, and as well the container is a screw-on lid 
in a glass container, which I've had these for probably, probably since they came out on scrapbook.com. Um, so it's been several months and I've opened them and swatched them and used them and they haven't dried out at all. Um, so I know some of my other products that I have, um, I used them once or twice and I go back to use them and the product is totally dried out and it's kind of disappointing. So um, I was really happy with these containers and the product. Um, this luster is kind of got a, a sheen to it. Um, I don't know if you can really see it as well and on camera as you can in person, but they're really beautiful colors. Um, so basically all I'm doing is I'm taking my dauber and just grabbing some of that polish and doing some colors on the tag. I also went ahead and wrote to from and that completes that tag. And then my last little project here is this little gift bag and for the life of me, I cannot remember what, I have a bunch of these little bags in my stash. What are those called? Uh, maybe I can think of it. Um, so all I've done is I've cut a, a small strip of white cardstock and I'm taking the snowflakes from the stamp set and my Red Rock and Catherine Pooler ink. And I suppose <laughs> as an afterthought, I could have went ahead and also done the whole strip so that the back of it was more finished than it is, but I did not. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I put a piece of cardstock in the envelope, but you can put like candy or a cookie or, you know, whatever treat or doesn't have to be a treat, whatever little favor you want to put in there. Um, so I just went ahead and folded the top down and then I took a piece of vellum and made a little banner out of it and embossed with white embossing powder, the little snowman, and I'm just taking my jelly roll pen to add the expressions and the arms. And then the other elements that I use for this little treat sack is a piece of ribbon from my stash that's kind of a beige or a tan color, as well as a little piece of red and white twine and this cute little red clothespin. And this paper, I just cut a probably one and a half inch strip and the, from a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and the 11 inches is perfect, ended up being perfect for this little treat sack. So I didn't have to cut any excess, but I'm going to go ahead and take this piece of ribbon and just use my double sided tape to adhere that. And then I will trim off the excess from the top and the bottom. And then I made a little ribbon out of, or not a ribbon, a bow out of the twine and went ahead and took the clothespin and attached the ribbon and the little snowman on the vellum piece to the top of the sack. And that'll complete this little project. Perfect for a work environment for coworkers, for a teacher, um, just a cute little thing that you can put pretty much just about anything. I really like the idea of putting a cookie in there or some little candies or something like that. Um, here is just a recap of the tags and cards and bags that were created. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. But, but, um, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next time.